is going on guys welcome back to another episode of headwaters angling ice season has arrived here in northern wisconsin today we were fishing for some panfish um bluegills and crappie crappies mostly and we're out here on upper lake st croix in northern wisconsin so yeah we're going to be fishing in the weeds because those fish haven't really dropped off into the basins yet we'll talk more about it when we get out there but yeah they're going to be up in the weeds still looking for food and then as the winter moves on like January, February, late December, uh, they'll slide off into those basins and just roam those muddy basins. And all right, yeah, we're gonna go try and catch them today. Let's go get them. Wisconsin here you gotta always be safe um, bring a spud bar ice picks whatever really you need and um, if you go through in two hits um, it's obviously not safe and five hits is probably pretty good some spots can always have one inch of ice so always make sure every few steps you take a few hits with the spud bar Dude, this isn't making mad. Got one. Caught him a deuce. Jake, there's like 30 of these fish. Jake, did you want me to drill some holes over here for you? Oh. First fish of the evening, nice little bluegill. We're gonna put him back. We're using this lake effect, using lake effect lures right now. You can go get some um, at lakeeffectlures.com. A little tungsten with a, tipped with a plastic. There you go. Oh, I'll yeah, right here. Set the shack and just caught this first fish out of the shack today. I'm just gonna throw him back. I'm just using the 28 right now because of the short distance to the hole. Oh, holy crap! You gonna get hit? Oh, you just got hit. You gonna... Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. This is not. Turn on the camera. What do we got here? Bike. Pike? Dad, yeah, we got a pike, Dad. Yeah, we got a pike. Yep, nice one. Oh, there you go. Oh, got him? First pike. First pike of the year. <laughs> That's a that. nice one. Yeah. It's on the panty popper. It broke me off. It's a rod, yeah. I caught this nice pike. Can't, um, we're... We just are on the edge of a weed line right now, 
And I was using actually a little tungsten jig right here. I actually snapped off the hook. You see? Snapped off the hook. Um, got this nice spike out of it. So, got this nice spike, perfect for eating. And I guess I can eat it. Hey guys, in this video I'll be sharing the setup I was using to catch all these panfish. I was using gear from Lake Effect Lures. Um, the panty stopper rod, 32 inch from Lake Effect. Tied with the cabbage tiger jig. Really nice jig. This jig is also from Lake Effect and the plastics. I was using green and red plastic plastics. They're both working very well for me. Um, I was catching a bunch of gills and if you guys want to get 10% off your next order, this headwaters 10. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, it's too nice sized, I think. Bluegills. Which do not appear to be biting. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, you got him. There you go. Oh. oh, it's little. Oh, that's perfect for the tip up. Okay. Um. Our local bait shop was closed today, so it's kind of a little bluegill. We're gonna go set up on a tip up and see if we can catch like a largemouth bass or even a pike. I just got a pike on the tungsten jig, so you never know what could happen on here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is there only 60 bucks for us? With the code? Yeah, that's a crazy deal. Yeah. Crazy. And we can use a code whenever we want. It's not like a sale, so. Oh! You're done? Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, there it looks, oh, there you go. Oh, that's a nice one. Keeper. Oh yeah, try that bad boy out. But rods. Uh, we were talking about rods, and um, all of a sudden I wasn't looking. We were just talking, and all of a sudden I just get a rod goes straight down. Set the hook in this nice bluegill. I think we're gonna keep them. Yeah, fry them up. Might have been just tripped. Wait a second, maybe. Might have just hit it. She hit it, but then, um, I'm not sure. Do you have a bobber on there? Just got this Dude, wait, let's wait a little bit. Oh, he's just running at me. There we go. Oh, a little one, but he'll work. Actually, that's a female. There we go. First fish of the 2022-2023 season. You want to keep this one for bait? Yeah. Alright. Alright, we're going to use this guy for bait, and then when we do use these for bait, they do count um, towards your limit, so the limit on this lake is 25 bluegills, so I only have 24 more left, but yeah, took me long enough, eh? Yeah. 
first. Fish. Yeah. First fish in the ice is a forty inch. Dad? I got a little one. Yeah, you see that little one? You wanna put it on a tip up? Yeah, I'm gonna put that one on a second tip up. Alright. Oh there you go, dude. You're on fire. Oh, oh that's, that's another good that one. Got a got a perfect size one. That's, that's a good one. one. I wouldn't let that other one go since it's big. I keep these two. Look at my plastic jig. I'm gonna let that big one go. Ooh, we got That's another nice one. Oh, he swallowed that. There you go. We've caught a few bluegills about this size. One keeper, but yeah, but it has slowed down a little bit. The sun's about to set, and we have some tip-ups set up, and we're going to see if those get hit at all, anything comes by. But otherwise, we'll probably keep jigging and see if we can catch any more and see what happens. Got a fish. Nice one. We're gonna have to measure that one. I don't think we'll have anything long enough to measure it. Keep that one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it was a heck of a day out on the lake. Uh, we had to move our shack. Uh, we caught a bunch of bluegills. Um, I actually caught a pike on the rod, so that was pretty fun to fight with. Yeah, so I didn't have the best day with bluegills. First day out on the ice, so I was super rusty, missed a ton of fish, but hey, that happens. And it was still a great day. That big pike made up for all those fish that I, all those bluegills that I missed. And it's just great to be back out on the ice. It was a long summer full of fishing, and now it's great to be back out here on hard water fishing for bluegill and all different species. So you also today, had a nice pike. You also had a nice pike. Yeah, it was a pretty nice pike, probably. 25 inches a perfect eater that other one was probably in that 15 to 20 range so yeah. we thought about well why not eat that one too so yeah we've probably been out here for four hours now um probably probably got on the ice at one o'clock it's probably almost 5 30. yeah five o'clock sun setting which is beautiful yeah just gorgeous sunsets here on upper saint croix the fishing portion of this episode's done and we'll see you over in the kitchen uh, got back to the lake. Now we're in the kitchen, and now we're gonna play them up. We got three bluegills and two pike. Just got that battering off uh, all the fillets, and now we just dumped our first batch in. And yeah, looking good so far. Yeah, he's in the shoreline. Just like that, we finished cooking. Now we're gonna make some delicious tacos. And I can't believe it. An hour ago, these fish were swimming in the lake. We had an awesome day out on the lake catching bluegill and pike, and we brought them back here and cleaned them up and made fish tacos with them. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.